Hello, Alex. So last week, you challenged me to review the first episode of Crash Course Linguistics while consuming a baked good. <laughs> so this week, I made quiche and watched the first four episodes of Crash Course Linguistics instead of just the first one. So far, it's been a total delight to comment on the important things first, obviously. I love the little bunny mascot Gabba guy. And I'm really enjoying the whole series so far, even as someone who's done a fair amount of linguistics already. There are a lot of examples that are super familiar to me, like the Gava Guy problem, but there are also ideas they're thinking about in this series that are pretty new to me, even as someone who's been interested in language for the last several years. Like, I totally fell into my own Wikipedia rabbit hole thinking about what language is spoken on the International Space Station. My guesses for that were going to be English and Russian, just based on the history of space exploration so far, but I also wound up on, of course, the Wikipedia article for Runglish, also known as Ruslish, Rusklish, Ruglish, Ringlish, Ruslish, Rusklish, and Rusinglish. So many possibilities for what to call this. Also super interesting is the fact that this Wikipedia article is available in Galician? super weird, super unexpected. I love it. So basically, this series is proceeding so far like a just phenomenally well-organized and orderly interlinguistics class. Something different about the Crash Course Linguistics series, though, from at least my interlinguistics classes that I'm really appreciating so far is the integrated inclusion of sign languages in the discussion of different languages and linguistics. Even my professors who were interested in sign language didn't really include much sign language in class, but the way that the writers and the host of this series have managed to include ASL and other sign languages so fluently actually winds up being really useful for different examples. I really appreciated especially this during the discussion of the arbitrariness of signs in both senses, especially because the Aslan sign for rabbit that they show is either similar or identical to the ASL sign for horse, which is a really phenomenal example right away of how it's totally arbitrary how the forms that our language takes relate to the meanings that they actually express. I think having this example from a sign language is really cool and helpful um, and also just establishes once again that sign languages are real languages. I also really loved to see all the syntax trees. You know I love a good syntax tree. And seeing all the amateur linguists or other linguistics interested folks in the comments is pretty cool. There are of course a lot of people being very pedantic in the comments of videos, but that also seems right up the alley of most linguists that I know. All in all, I'd super recommend it even to people with linguistics degrees. And I'm really glad you challenged me to review it for you because watching this is totally the kind of thing I would have on my to-do list for months and months and months without actually getting around to it. But I'm really enjoying this and I'm hoping to actually catch the next episodes as they come out. So thank you for that. If you wind up watching it, I hope you let me know what you think too especially about episodes where we get to phonetics and other things that you definitely know more about than I do. Looking forward to your video!